After receiving the messages from Jesus, John was transferred by the Spirit to heaven. He attempted a graphic description of God on his throne, but could find no comparison to anything he experienced before. Instead, he used symbols to depict the heavenly scenes. After these things, I looked, and behold a door standing open in heaven. And the first voice which I heard was like a trumpet speaking with me, saying, Come up here, and I will show you things which must take place after this. Immediately I was in the Spirit, and behold, a throne set in heaven, and one sat on the throne. And he who sat there was like a jasper and a sardius stone in appearance, and there was a rainbow around the throne, in appearance like an emerald. Around the throne were twenty-four thrones, and on the thrones I saw twenty-four elders sitting, clothed in white robes, and they had crowns of gold on their heads. And from the throne proceeded lightnings, thunderings, and voices. Seven lamps of fire were burning before the throne, which are the seven spirits of God. Before the throne there, was a sea of glass, like crystal. And in the midst of the throne, and around the throne, were four living creatures, full of eyes in front and in back. The first living creature was like a lion, the second living creature like a calf. The third living creature had a face like a man. And the fourth living creature was like a flying eagle. The four living creature, each having six wings, were full, of eyes around and within. And they do not rest day or night, saying, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. Whenever the living creatures give glory and honor and thanks to him who sits on the throne, who lives for ever and ever, the twenty-four elders fall down before him who sits on the throne, and worship him who lives for ever and ever, and cast their crowns before the throne, saying, You are worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power, for you created all things, and by your will they exist and were created. The Apostle John noticed a scroll in the hand of the one that sat on the throne. A strong angel proclaimed with a loud voice, Who is worthy to open the scroll and to loose its seals? And no one in heaven, or on the earth, or under the earth, was able to open the scroll, or to look at it. So, John wept bitterly. But one of the elders said to him, Do not weep. Look! The Lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, has prevailed to open the scroll and to loose its seven seals. Then John looked and saw, in the midst of the throne and of the four living creatures, and the twenty-four elders, stood Jesus. He approached and took the scroll out of the hand of the one who sat on the throne. Now when he had taken the scroll, the four living creatures and the twenty-four elders fell down before the Lamb, each having a harp and golden bowls full of incense, which are the prayers of the saints. And they sang a new song, saying, You are worthy to take the scroll, and to open its seals, for you were slain and have redeemed us to God by your blood out of every tribe and tongue and people and nation, and have made us kings and priests to our God, and we shall reign on the earth. Then I looked, and I heard the voice of many angels around the throne, the living creatures, and the elders, and the number of them was ten thousand times ten thousand and thousands of thousands, saying, with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor, and glory and blessing. And every creature which is in heaven and on the earth and under the earth, and such as are in the sea, and all that are in them, I heard saying, Blessing and honor and glory and power to him who sits on the throne, and to the Lamb, forever and ever. Then the four living creatures said, Amen. And the twenty-four elders fell down and worshipped him who lives for ever and ever. In his epistle to the elders, John spoke about the amazing sacrifice of Jesus. In Old Testament time, men approached God through the priest. Today, Jesus makes it possible for man to petition God directly. Also, his blood cleans us from all sin. In the days of old, animals were sacrificed whenever the people sinned. Christ was crucified to provide the everlasting atonement for humans. This
Amazing sacrifice of Jesus was celebrated by every living creatures in heaven and on the earth and under the earth. It was the moment for which the entire creation waited. Everyone worshipped Jesus for the great thing he had done. The grand climax is reached, as Jesus opened the scroll and loose its seals. These shocking events are unveiled in the next video titled Jesus Unveils the Apocalypse. Please remember to subscribe to this channel so that you can receive the latest videos. Leave a comment in the section below. Your views and opinions are important. Also, check out these cool videos.